So today we're going to start a new unit. The unit is in IP Chemistry Higher Level, Topic 9, Redox Processes. Redox stands for Reduction and Oxidation. We learned previously from um, chemistry, IB Chemistry Year 1 in 11th grade, what oxidation means. Do you guys remember when um, in Unit 3, for example, we were learning about three half tables, and we also learned about transition metals and how different transition metals um, have different oxidation states. So this is an example of oxidation, where we can go deeper into reduction and oxidation. The essential ideas that we're going to take away from this unit, as well as topic 19, which is a higher level topic for redox, are 9.1, 9.2, and 19.1. 9.1 tells us that redox reactions play a key role in many chemical and biochemical processes. And in order for us to fully understand this, we're going to learn a lot about how redox reactions occur and learn about how we could actually write out half equations for these reactions. 9.2 talks about voltaic cells and electrolytic cells. Voltaic cells um, are cells that convert chemical energy to electrical energy, and electrolytic cells convert electrical energy to chemical energy. So electrolytic cells um, are the conversion that occurs um, opposite of what voltaic cells occur. 19.1, the higher level topics, consists of energy conversions between electrical and chemical energy. So we're going to look deeper into electrochemical cells that will be covered in 9.2. We're going to start today's lesson with 9.1 um, and learn about how to write half equations. Here's a key phrase that it might be worthwhile to remember, and it's oil rig. Oil rig, the O and the R, stands for oxidation and reduction, respectively. And we should always know that oxidation and reduction happens together. So in a reaction, if there's oxidation, reduction is also occurring in the same um, instance. Oil stands for oxidation is loss of electrons. Rig stands for reduction is the gain of electrons. That's where oil rig comes in. So now we're going to look at an example of magnesium and oxygen uh, reacting to form magnesium oxide and how oil rig can be incorporated in this reaction. Here is magnesium and oxygen, and this is our balanced equation. In order to write half equations, we have to look at the reactants. So the reason why we write half equations, half reaction equations, is because we want to see what exactly is going on um, in the oxidation and the reduction. So what species are oxidized and what species are reduced in a chemical reaction such as this one. So we're going to look at half reaction equations. The half equations usually, or always actually, talks about the reactants. So we're going to look at how the reactants change to products, um, whether or not they remain oxidized or they remain so let's start with magnesium. Magnesium, we can balance the equation with this. So we need to understand why do we have electrons incorporated in this half reaction. So this half equation only consists of magnesium. Only one reactant species is included in each half equation. Starting with magnesium, we can see that magnesium as a solid converts into magnesium 2 plus. Magnesium 2 plus is because of this that we see. So do you see how in this compound, magnesium holds an oxidation state 2 plus? And in order to balance this equation out, we need to make sure all the oxidation states are equal on both sides of the equation. So here on the left-hand side, do you see how magnesium holds an oxidation state of zero? Magnesium on the reactant side holds an oxidation of two plus. There are two magnesium solids 
and reactant, so we multiply that by two. There are two magnesium ions in the products, so we multiply the two plus oxidation state with two. Because this is a reaction um, from the reactants of the products, we need to make sure the oxidation states are the same. So looking at the reactant side, do we see how it equals to zero here? So we need to make sure that in the product side, it also equals to zero. So that way this equation is a true statement. So we would have to add four electrons. So electrons hold a negative value. So we add a negative four. Do you see how two times two plus, which is four, subtract zero, four gives us zero. So here we have zero equals to zero. And that's a true statement. Okay. So now let's move on to the next half equation, and that half equation is oxygen. So taking a look at oxygen. This is the oxygen half reaction, and doing the exact same thing that we did with magnesium, here we're going to prove why this is the case. So let's look at oxygen. Oxygen here is not an ion, right? So it holds an oxidation state of zero. Let's not look at let's not look at the electrons just yet. On the right hand side, let's do what we know. We see that oxygen, the ion, usually on the periodic table, oxygen holds an oxidation state of negative two. So we're gonna make it two. Now we need to multiply it by the coefficients of the balanced equation. The balanced equation for oxygen is a two. Um, for oxygen, the ion. And on the reactant side, it has a coefficient of one. So we need to add something, right? In order for the product side, here we have negative four. The reactant side currently only has zero. So to get from zero to negative four, we have to subtract four. So subtract four. And we learned previously that if you subtract a number, um, you can represent that with electrons. So because it's four, subtract by four, you can have four electrons. So now, again, we're able to see that this equation equals to negative four. And again, we can prove that this is a true statement. Now let's look at, now that we have all the oxidation states, let's see if we can balance this. So let's start crossing some things out. Here, do you guys see how there are four electrons in the products of the magnesium, forming magnesium ions? Do you see in the second um, half equation with the oxygen, there are four on the left hand side and the right hand side. So with that, if you have to combine one and two, let's bring it up here. One and two to form equation A. So in order to form equation A, we combine one and two. And with this we can cross out four electrons. And in fact we get two magnesium solid plus oxygen mass yields two magnesium oxide. So from here, we can see oxidation and reduction. So remember, oxidation is the loss of electrons, reduction is the gain of electrons. So in this case, which one do you think is being oxidized and which one do you think is being reduced? Have a moment here. Okay, so hopefully you guys were able to get that magnesium is the, uh, the one being oxidized and oxygen gas in the reactants is the one being reduced. Let's take a look. 
So the reason why it's being oxidized is recall oil means oxidation is the loss of electrons. So here we have from previously, from what we calculated just now, we have magnesium of the zero, right? Magnesium gas here, I'm um, sorry, magnesium ion here is plus two. Recall oxygen from below, zero here, is negative two here. So oxidation is the loss of electrons. Do you see how in the half reaction, right here, that electrons are lost in the products. And the oxidation state moves from zero to plus two. So we're losing electrons, so it's being oxidized. Now, oxygen is being reduced. And we can see that in our second half equation. We see that oil rig reduction is the gain in electrons. So that's why electrons are gained in the reactant side. So that's why electrons are gained here, as opposed to in the products. If it's in the products, then it's losing electrons. And looking back up at our overall equation, balanced equation, we see it goes from zero to negative two. So when it goes into negative from a positive number to a negative number, oops, from a positive number to a negative number, this is reduction. I'm going to write it as R. When it goes from a negative number or from a negative or neutral number, to a positive number, then it's being oxidized. And if you take a look quickly at the oxidation and reduction table, reduction is the loss of oxygen, right? And oxidation is the gain in the oxygen. So this clearly tells us that magnesium is going to be oxidized and oxygen is going to be reduced in this reaction. So now, um, log in to our new pod, and I would like for you to try this one out yourself. So using the same method as before, try to write out the half equations of this reaction and explain the overall reaction, the overall balance.